Is this recording? I think it is. Hello! Welcome to another episode of so Cornback King's Talk. I'm your host, Reed. And it is time for That's So Kings, the podcast. And let's hop into this podcast for real. Hello, Kings fans. Welcome to the first video before the 21 season. I'm not going to call it the 2021 season. I might call it during my videos. I might not. Just bear with me. And when I last left, left off, I yelled, We're coming back. The NHL's coming back. What do we do now? Thankfully, iron details have came out, and yeah, we're still we're still playing hockey, and no fans, of course. But we'll still play some of our Pacific Division rivals, like Anaheim, San Jose, Arizona, Vegas, those guys. But since the Canadian three are going north this year, right, the Scotia North, instead of the Honda West. We invite Colorado, St. Louis, and Minnesota into the division just to avoid travel uh, problems. So, with, with those now into the fold and the top four teams make the playoffs, it is kind of predicting that two of those teams will get at least two of those spots, and that's Colorado and St. Louis. And then Vegas will definitely be in there. My Vegas friend on YouTube, hello. And and good luck. He's probably excited the fact that his team is really good. So that's that's always great to hear. And then the fourth spot is going to be a jump ball. You have Arizona, who might be in decline. You have Minnesota, who I don't know how to grade Minnesota. You have San Jose, who I think is in denial. You have Anaheim, and you have us. That's seventeen. That's 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 four teams. Or actually, four or five. It's it's a number. Let's put it that it's a number of teams fighting for only one playoff spot. And I can see us doing it, but it's not. I don't think it's going to happen. You have the fans' dream of, ooh, they can finally make playoffs again. We're going to be good again. No, but then reality hits you right in the face. And we just don't know what to expect. And go go on Sportsnet, go on NHL.com, go on TSN. I don't care. Read all the rules. It's very expensive. Expansive, not expensive. <laughs> But speaking of expenses, we signed another player, Andreas Athanasiu. He is a speedy left winger. And uh, we got him for pretty cheap. And I wonder, and I asked the Kings this on Twitter, who in a race between Austin Wagner and Andreas Athanasiu? And they said, we'll just have to find out. And I say, that's the only way that's going to happen. You just put him in a rank and... They're going to do circles and all that. Also, with the World Juniors ending a couple days, weeks ago, I don't know when I'll upload this. We don't know if Turcotte, Kaliev, or Byfield, those are the big ones, are coming to the camp. We have to see what's going to go on in the OHL and the AHL, respectively. But expect some healthy competition if they do join. And now I said in the in the last video that I would probably work. I have the prospect pyramid. And yes, here it is. I'm gonna send it over to the other camera, which is the same camera but a different view. Or I might record on my phone. So here's the prospect period pyramid. And there's everyone else. So right here is the not prospects means. You have a pretty good shot of making the team or you're on thin ice for me. That's what I have. Ander Mike Anderson and Martin Ferk here. I know Ferk is not a prospect anymore, but he has a pretty good shot. Peterson's the backup, so sorry, Patterson, if that's how he pronounces it. So 
Um, the reason why Clegg and Luff, they are, are what are on, on time. That is, is not very, well, you know what I mean. They're on limited hours. A plus prospects. So you got Quinton Byfield and Turcott, but Byfield's the A plus. Turcott's probably an A minus. And then you have your Bs. That's why you have Velarde. This is Jairus Anderson Dolan. He might be a B minus. You have Arthur Kaliev, who was a sniper at the World Juniors. Kill Thomas, Toby Bjornfoot, Tyler Madden, who Connect Fan says is a steal that we got in the Toffoli deal. Brock Faber, Helge Granz, which I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'll have to cons consult a a uh, dictionary or whatever whatever I find. Rasmus Kupari, who I thought could be an A, but he's had an injury and he's kind of slipping into the B. So as for Velarde, he was an A at one point. He had some injuries, but he's showing that he could be a not prospect very soon. In the C's, I have Grundstrom. These are interchangeable, actually. You have Grundstrom, Spence, Jersey. As I don't see anything out of it, even though I really like Grundstrom. And Jersey's a guy we got in the Muzzin deal as, along with Grundstrom. Villalta, Icymont, he might be on, on thin ice. Rimshaw and Phillips. They are our prospects. I, I'm... I know Vuelta has the highest upside out of all these, I think. So you can surprise me. You go up, go down. And then Sodogran, uh, Renek. Sorry, that's not very legible. Strand. I'm not sure if Strand's still in the organization, so I'm putting here him here as a question. And Brickley, he's almost close to a not prospect list because we signed him out of college, and he's getting to the age where it's kind of now or never. And then and you got everyone else. When I mean by everyone else, that means I have no clue where you should go or you, you're not ready yet to graduate onto this pyramid. I'm back on this camera, so yeah, that was the prospect pyramid. Oh, I don't know what the team could be in once the 13th or 14th against Minnesota begins. I just hope for some good hockey. And yes, it'll be an adjustment period to see Staples Center without fans. Granted, most King fans that I know are Laker fans. So they've gotten used to the fact of a no fanless Laker game. You know, a, a fanless Laker game. Let me just be grammatically correct. That's basically it for this video. And thank you all for watching if you're on YouTube. Good luck if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new, share the link with your friends. And as for your uh, as for the audio listeners, thank you for listening to this episode. And the podcast will still happen, but it's just under a different playlist now. I might do double entry if you're on YouTube to both the KFR stuff and the TSK the TSK stuff. So you'll just have to be diligent about when you get your your videos or audio podcasts, which make sure you have notifications on both ones. Or, and that's easy if you subscribe to either an audio version or a visual version. I'll see you in another video, hopefully not in nearly a month. Bye.